Hello, everybody. Hey. Okay, so we lower it down into the grinder. Is that one? Yes. Is that my understanding? Now lift it back up. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. That was a little shorter of a cutscene, but now okay. we want to go back to the other side. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Just enthralling, really. It is. That's a cool, like, island on the edge of the world, though, I yeah, gotta say. Yeah, it is. Just I always like the concept of, like, the edge of the world. Yeah. I mean, it's a little terrifying. Have you ever read uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I haven't. There's a restaurant at the end of the universe. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's not what you think. It's not, like, on the edge of the universe. It's... It's a restaurant that's in a time loop, so like every oh. fifteen minutes, the customer, like every half hour, the customers get to watch the universe explode. Oh, like a, ooh, cool. ah, yeah. <laughs> and then right before the right before the restaurant is destroyed, it goes back in time like half an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's well, cool. Okay. Lower that chain. Oh wait, no, you. Oh man. Sorry. I'm so Okay. Conveyor belt. And down the conveyor belt. And okay. Okay. And now I take it, I get out of here. Yep. You want to go back down and jump off where you see the lever. Get off. Get off. I'm, I'm get off. Get off. Hurry. You're just swept away. There we go. Alright, now pull the lever. Pull the lever! Yes. And it gets all... Bunched up? Yep. Why do we want that? Well, we get to... That was weird. We get to do that again! Pull the lever again! Okay, I'm not sure what... I know where we're going with this. Oh, I see. Yeah. There's an anchor there. Okay, and do I pull the lever one more time? Um, now you want to go back to the crane. Oh, okay. That's oh, lame. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. That's lame. Well, lame maybe... dude. <laughs> maybe you're lame. No maybe. way, dude. Probably not. There's no way that I'm lame. <laughs> Go, 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 Okay. Mini Calavera, action hero. now we have an anchor on a crane. So now you want to... Pull it up. Lower it? Lower it? No, raise it. Raise it. right. There we go. Guess what? Yeah! Yeah! So that's where Galaxy came in. you got it to float. That was the and there's the beach. Part. The trick's gonna be busting through that big coral reef out there. Bust through a big coral reef, eh? It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh yeah, this will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. Cool. Okay, now I All take right. it we go back up. Now we want to go back to Meche. Yay, Meche! We like her. Yeah, we do. She's cool. She punched Domino in the face. Anyone who punches Domino in the face is okay in my books. I wish we could have punched him in the face. Right. But, I mean, we got to punch the smarmy lawyer. That's something. He's not even smarmy. He straight up killed a person. Yep. In the afterlife. Wait. Come no. on. No, no, no. You, you... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back over here! Back over there! You're gonna get copyrighted. You're gonna get copyrighted. My my dulcet tones are so similar to the music. I love that commercial. Oh yeah, I. It never gets old for some reason. I love that commercial so much. Also, that song, just the full version of that song, is awesome. When I was a when I was a kid. I would always love it whenever that commercial came on, and um, 
and I would always dance with the old guy, just like da 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 da. Yeah, da, 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 he's da, so da. happy. I know it's great. How can he not dance with the old? Although guy? Although I was kind of heartbroken when I found out that it wasn't actually an old guy; it was just a guy in old age makeup. Yeah, but. <sighs> never, it's good never makeup. meet your idols, kids. Okay. Unless you know, they're really cool. Unless they're really cool, I guess, yeah. or whatever. Yes. Yeah. You have no way of knowing if they're cool until you meet them. I don't know. I like to think YouTubers are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm, I count myself as a YouTuber yet. At the time of this recording, we have um, 13 subscribers. Uh, 15. 15 subscribers, but <laughs> two of them are me and Caleb, so it hardly counts. Alright, now you want to give her the gun. Okay. Yeah. Don't shoot her! <laughs> it's not loaded. I know. Um. Okay. What good's a relationship without trust? True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for Mad Day. Come on, mm. let's go! Mitchie, you don't know what you- I know exactly what I'm doing! Now move! Uh, I don't like this turn of events. Yeah, that's so why I was like, don't look at the walkthrough. Plan first. Travel in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, <laughs> I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious, I'll shoot him. Fine. It really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. Well. Well. <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler <laughs> usually dampens her fumes. I don't like you. Can I punch no. you now? I wish. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna talk to you. I got some. I got some questions need answering. Domino. Domino. Why are you such a dick? Your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Lissy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss Hector that way. What are you doing out here? What are you here? doing out <laughs> here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. Oh my gosh, this guy. I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. You can keep How can you keep little children in a cage? Because I'm a me, douche. It's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried to put a sapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. I really don't like you. Nope. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Yeah, really. I'm gonna work for you. Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it from me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. And she's gonna hate me. So, you know. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. You creep. I don't like it. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead, telling everybody how we stole their double in tickets, now can we? What? You, what? They did steal them. Why'd you do that? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients! Yes! I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod. Which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. I don't like you. <laughs> so it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. 
Yeah. You stole it. I mean, we well, knew it wasn't his fault. She ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. I'm taking Mitchie out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in the petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, Aww. I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? I really, really don't like to. Okay. What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out, that's all. Mm. So those tickets. You killed my best friend. The demon? <sighs> Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's That's racist. Just not natural. That's racist. That's straight up racist undertones there. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls. Unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. Mm. Mobsters and stuff. Well, you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? I mean, you are pretty much immortal. Yeah, I guess. Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you so... about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. So I was right. Okay. So that's also why he had the coral on his desk. Was because he was making a deal with these people and buying this island. Makes sense. Okay. Alright, so... You do 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 run to the corridor and where there's a door with a wheel. To the corridor. So, this yeah. This back this way. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> there you go. It's a little awkward. Yeah. Let me out. Okay. So. I'll get you. I'll get you out. Open this door. Okay. What do we do? You need to exit out of this, actually. Okay. Let me out! You want to use the bus stall on the door. Oh, okay, cool. I think I'm running out of air! Well, then stop screaming! You don't have lungs! Pugsy! Pugsy. I hope we don't have I to don't listen to her. Pugsy! The wheel's my friend. You want to use it on the right side of the door. On the right side of the door? Yeah. I'm warning you, Domino! Manny! Yeah. Don't worry, I'm helping. You should have shot him. Hey! There we go. Must have hit a major Is there anybody out there? Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. So look at those guts. Take a look at those guts. Mm -hmm. Take a look at I those sweet guts. I don't want to bust guts. all that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now look at those guts. Those Burr. are the tumblers of the combination lock. So this is a puzzle. Okay. Um, and it's fiddly, according right. to the walkthrough. Alright. Uh, it says, you need to make sure the flat ends of the tumblers line up neatly with the right hand edge of the door. And you do that I by turning those by hand. I need this the wheel. wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. crap. It's like, it's like that one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So what was so that to do? It says, turn the wheel left just a little to get the upper tumbler aligned correctly. Uh, well, the upper tumbler. What? Because it's only moving the bottom one. Oh, okay. Well, it's slowly turning the other ones. Is it? Yeah. I'm not. But oh, yeah, just you're right. Little... It is. Yeah. I don't know. I'd, I would get the upper one. Yeah, okay. I see what we need to do now. Yay, puzzles. Okay, this is for... Nope. Okay. 
This is going to be really, really annoying to watch. Um, so, we will have this puzzle solved next time on Ubermeet! Yay! You don't have to sit and watch this ridiculousness.